avocados. This is a tiny avocado. There's various kinds of avocados. Most of the avocados you've seen are Haas avocados. They have the bumpy skin that's really thick. You need to cut it off and everything. Uh, those are Haas avocados and they're most popular because they ship well. And they also ripen off the tree. So they're really good for exporting. But here where I live, there's other kinds of avocados too, like this one, where you can just eat the skin. And it's kind of like a plum or something, except it tastes like an avocado. The seeds of these are really big. Now, I want to get a variety of avocados here because we can graft onto them and also it's just fun. It's exciting. People love avocados. And also the growing season will extend if I have different varieties. This is a seed from an avocado about this size. So you can see there's not a lot of fruit on there. So the, what I want to do is, is I want to sprout this. And you might have done this when you were a kid. This is a great activity to teach kids about seed reproduction. Um, you know, I could just probably plant this in a pot, but it might dry out. I might forget it. And also I've got this nice kitchen window here that gets some okay light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some toothpicks in this avocado. I'm going to put three so it's nice and stable. Could do four, but three seems enough. And the idea is to have half of the avocado in the water in this cup. And if I put all the avocado in, it will kind of drown it, so I don't want that. I want half of it to be drying out and half of it to be soaking up water. I can change this water occasionally because it's going to get maybe a little gooky. So I fill that all the way up. And I don't want to forget and have it go down to here. A root is going to come out of the bottom here. Now, which side of the avocado is going to sprout, you'll figure out. I think I got the right one. If I didn't, it won't work. I set this up here. That's going to grow a little tree out the top, roots on the bottom. And if I have a series of these, when people arrive, they can see these avocados being reproduced. If we can work plant reproduction into our hobbies, into our lifestyle, then we can actually regreen the whole world. We can find anywhere that's just dirt, anywhere that humans have destroyed, anywhere that doesn't have food we like, or maybe, maybe plants that bees and insects like. And we can fill it with, with life. We can be forces of life instead of death as humans. You know, it's just an avocado, but it's also part of making the world a better place. Tasty.